Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm going to be painting today, guys, for those of you who would like to watch. Um, I, I burned this box the other day, and I just wasn't happy with the way it, the top, and, and I mean, I like it, but I kind of just traced on the dragonfly, and then I drew the mandala behind it, and I didn't realize that like darkening in this area kind of, I just don't like the way it, I think he pops pretty good. I mean, it's okay. I loved uh, the dots around the edge. A lot of things about it. I really like this design as well. And then I just put the stars and the sun and the moon around it. Anyway, look, it's holding my bracelets. I put some felt inside, so I went and bought more felt, but I wanted to make another one, so I decided to go and get another box, and they only had one more of the same as that, but they had these, so I think I got at least two of these, and I don't know if you've seen them, they're only $2.50, but look, they're like little ATC card holders, they fit. Let me show you. Here's a couple ATCs of mine. Oh, this one. This one's a little snug on this side. Let's see how this fits. I think uh, playing cards, you know, they're probably for like your pinochle cards or whatever you um, type of cards you play. This one, I think they fit much better. Isn't that interesting? Each one is different. Yeah, see, look, that had no problem going in. Yeah, much better. But anyway, so that was cool, and I didn't even realize that when I bought it. I really just wanted it for the surface, you know, the um, to burn on. And this is that really soft balsa wood. So we'll see how they burn. These are a little different. Um, so they... I also um, wanted to, so this is the one I'm going to be painting today. I changed it a little bit because uh, I found, well, I had these. Um, these are adult coloring pages. Like if you put in, um, like I think I put in Mandala Dragonfly or something like that. And these two are probably from the same book. And if not, they're so close. This just says Shutterstock.com. Um, anyway, this one just has a little bit different mandala on the outside. This one's just dots, you know, but the same basic feel. So I kind of took elements of both of these um, and put them on the box. It was difficult for me to get this little, the inside, and this is blurry because it was actually very small and I blew it up like 185%. Um, so basically... I took elements of both types of flowers. Um, see, these leaves are a little bit different. And I think once I add paint to it, it should turn out pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to also glue in the, the felt into the base of the box because I'll use this one. I signed my name on the bottom. And um, I, as always, I, I do a little light sanding and then I spray it with an acrylic sealer. I go down the basement and I spray it lightly with an acrylic sealer. And I can actually sand it again because the tooth of the wood comes up. Oh, I just um, put the clasp back on because I remove that when I'm burning for some reason. Because I don't take the hinges off, but, uh, and I just got tired and didn't want to paint, um, do flowers on the back, and I wasn't going to do anything on the back, but then I just decided to put the sun again, because, uh, the sun is a, a source of energy and all things goodness. Now, the dragonfly also has a lot of cool meaning behind it, um, so that's, and it just happens to be another critter that I really love. I just love critters in general. All right, I think we're ready to go. Uh, there's, I'm going to do, now on this one, I did use a little bit of metallic purple 
on the body of the dragonfly which I'm debating doing on this one because this one has a design so this one has a little bit of a design to it so I might not be doing that however mm, no I'm, I'm probably gonna add the metallic to the wings which it would just be white um, I could do the no I probably will do white it's just that the dragonfly always to me has this greenish purple uh, feel to it so I do love it but I'll probably just stick with the white for the wings and the iridescent and the other thing is um, when I seal this when I varnish it with a, I use a satin varnish I don't know no I still kind of can tell it's metallic and I think I actually went over this with um, glitter as well very subtle it's not showing up too but it gives the whole thing a sheen that satin you see so anyway I also used soft black in the corners and um, in the darkest area so I'll be doing that again because I really like that soft black is a very cool color it's like a brownish uh, uh black all right sorry guys i'm gonna do all the white and gold first so it's interesting because i'm not sure i'm gonna have to just play it by ear and you're gonna come along for the ride if you choose uh-oh i'm using a number two round and i'm just gonna fill in some areas that I think, so I'm gonna do a little on the body. Let me come in so you can see. And you don't really see, once I shade everything, that's where it really starts to pop. I might dip dot that. Um, I think I'm going to do the centers of the flowers, so this whole circle. The centers, I mean the flowers were difficult to figure out how to do because uh, they're very delicate. On, it's a coloring book page, so it's not like it's something that I'm supposed to be uh, burning you know like I'm not it wasn't meant to be a burn pattern type thing so I just did my best and you know I'm not they're not perfect but um, I like the I like using my dotting tools because I have dotting burners so see I have a small dot and a, a bigger dotting burning tool so that's kind of fun to include um, this is a two. I think I want to do the whole. I was going to add some white, but um, I think I'm just going to go with gold on his body. And there's some detail on this little, uh, like a a bud. It's like a bud. Um, see, there could be a line here too. I didn't, I didn't burn a line. Where else should I put it? So that's just very subtle. I think this diamond. Okay. So I'll do the same thing on the sides. It may not have as much as some of my designs have because, uh, I know I think I'm going to do white for that cross hatching. I thought it looked kind of like a lattice work design. Um, so I, I love that on one of my mandalas I did, I put white there and it looks so cool. So that's just subtle. Uh, the center see I totally changed the ones on the side I just started getting tired so this I would say took me at least five hours to burn and I took my time on this one because um, 
sometimes I rush and then that makes me make mistakes. Well, it doesn't make me make mistakes, but it, you know, because I'm rushing, I just need to think, think a little bit longer, take my time, be patient, and, uh, all right, now, what about these little leaves? I kind of want to have another spot. Oh, I, I know I'm going to highlight all the tips of everything with white. All right, so I am going to do these little leaves. I'm going to paint them gold. Um, how about these little leaves? I think I am going to paint them gold, too. They're not everywhere. Um these little guys and on the sun I'm gonna probably I'll highlight and shade the sun I won't worry about the sun for this video right now I'll come back and do that after. I really just want to work on the top with you guys because the video will be long enough. Um, oh, I need to do all these little guys. You can see there's like, oops, let me just get a Q-tip. You can see there's like different wood. See how this line goes like that? Like they join different woods together. Like this little, uh, it's like a, what is it in the tree? Like the, the parts of the tree. So this part might be a little bit sappier than some of the other parts. So when I burned over it, it, it changes. It changes how the burn feels and how deep it goes and how dark it goes. So that was kind of, ooh, kind of cool. I dropped, I dropped my bush. Um, but it really, it really is important that I do all this little stuff before I start shading because it would be shaded or it would be painted underneath the shading. I don't want to do this on top of, in other words, right? Okay, so I did those, did that. Um, all right, what else? I could do these little leaves because I did them on the bottom. Yes. Oop, I didn't do this guy. I got cold again in South Jersey. I, I just put the uh, fireplace on because it's just my hands get cold. This room has four windows in it, believe it or not. There's a lot of windows. All right. I think I'm good. I'm going to start shading. This is going to be cool. Um, you know what? Let me do the wings, too. I'm going to use this. Uh, I have the mirror paints right here. They're just handy. It's pearl white. And I'm just going to paint that on kind of like a wash, but not exactly. Yeah, probably. Let me mix it up like a wash. I'm going to use this number three round. In other words, I don't want full, so this is water. I don't want full strength of paint. I do want it to be very transparent. Um, and then I'm going to shade. So this is a wash. And I'm just going to really go across the whole wing and it should dry really transparent I don't want to lose all those swirls I decided to put the swirls because the petal I mean the petals I always call Feathers, wings, and leaves, petals. Anyway, uh, they were very intricate, and I just thought these swirlies will get the job done. I don't need to do that much intricate. And I knew I was just going to paint them white, too. So, see, I get a little sloppy. I just need to slow down and 
feels like it's mostly water now. Let that dry. All right, I'm gonna get out some brown. This is actually a satin brown. Um, and just see, I'm gonna start doing the petals of the flowers and the leaves. I'm gonna float this so that it's, cause I don't wanna lose the, the wood grain. Like that's the idea is to make this kind of imitate what a wood burning would look, look like without me having to shade. Um, with the wood burner so I'm cheating I'm using my favorite technique which is floating to get the look that it would probably I don't know how they do it man I need to really practice but I'm lazy and I'm just gonna use my floating technique to add some shading but I don't want to get too heavy-handed and lose the wood color Let's see. And I will highlight, I will use some white if I if it starts getting too dark. Um, but I really like the way this, the finished, I think this is gonna look pretty. Like this is really dark over here, it's heavy. Like I could, I think I might blot just gently it's already dry it's okay just keep, I'm just gonna keep moving around and this is just called coffee bean brown uh, let's stick with the leaves right now And I just go up against the thing that it's underneath of. And that way it kind of gives the shadow like the petals are on top of it. <clears throat> I think I'm losing my voice. Uh, anything that something is on top of would be, <clears throat> so right here, hmm, this petal would actually be shaded up against the little dragonfly's tail. Maybe I'll do the center's white or for sure at least a dip dot. I could do a dip dot of white inside those burn dip dots. I think my boys might be home. Yeah, they went out to the store um, real quick. It's almost time for dinner. We're having pulled pork. Um, but see, once I, like, dude, I've been doing this for, what I say, like five hours. So since around noon, and it's five something now, let's see, 530. And I honestly, I, you know, I'll go eat, but then I will be right back to it until it's done. Like, I just can't stop until it's done. I want to see it finished. Boy, that's really subtle. No, I didn't do those petals. So it might get a little loud. Um, I forgot to do the lines like on that one, but no one will know, you guys. So that's starting to come to life, right? Um, hey Joe, I'm filming. So I will do this flower. didn't get all the petals on this guy.
I think I need to, oh, I forgot one more little guy over here. I need to add uh, white because once I go in with that soft black, it needs to be under there. I'm going to go, hmm, I want to put some brown right here. Oh, I'm going to do white. Oh, wow. All right, I'm going to get some white out. Now, this is regular. Actually, this is, uh, gloss enamel white. So this is not the same white that I used on the wings. I'm going to highlight the tips of the petals with this. I think I'll just go up one side. See how awesome that is? And it really kind of starts to separate. I like it. I don't want to cover all that shading, which isn't very dark. I could really darken it up with um, my soft black. But I think, I, oops, I really just want to use that soft black for, to make the dragon, so behind the dragonfly. And the rest of it, I'm just going to use um, the brown everywhere else. And I can, you can go back as many times, and I could go maybe dig out like a darker brown. Coffee bean's pretty dark, but like I have a, uh, Raw Sienna, Ross, no, 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 um, Burnt Sienna, one of them, I think they're, Raw Sienna and Burnt Sienna are both maybe darker than Coffee Bean, you know, so it's just trial and error, and I'll just pity pat around this whole piece, and till it feels good, until I like, um, let's see, white, gotta do right here, And hmm, I did want to do the little lacy part. I want to do this too. I think I'm going to do this. I am going to do that. Not. I. W I don't need to do it with you guys, but. I'll come, I'll um, finish this off camera and I'll come back and show you before I end the video, the final. That looks so cool. All right. Um, yep, I'm going to put it just around this little area. Like this looks like um, lace. To me it does. And I might cover quite a bit of the brightness of the white with that shading that I'm going to go around the dragonfly with. But I need to put it on there initially. And then I can always add back. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to put white lines right here I'm gonna put uh, I think I'm gonna fill this in with white but 
because I don't think the, oh boy, I don't like when I go over the burn lines because that, that's part of um, how it pops, but I think I am going to do that. Uh, I wish you guys were here so you could be yelling at me. What else? Oh, I didn't even do the leaves yet. I did these leaves, but I didn't do. They just look kind of light. Um, all right, let me see. I do think I want to do this. I'll do one and then I'll have to decide. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I might put a tiny little dip dot in there. You know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to shade. I know what I'm going to do. Um, let me just shade around there. And I will put a white dip dot in that, in the burn holes, and they'll really pop then. So I'm just going to darken this up so that the white dip dot really pops. Um, just darkening where it would be behind. And I'm going to Yep, that'll be good. I went out of lines. And of course I always do my dip dots last because I will put my hand in it. It will be a mess. So let me finish the white. And then I'll just do the, um, the dark black. And you're going to die. You're going to love it when you see that. I'm just going to highlight the tips of the petals where I have it. And maybe the leaves too. I probably should do the leaves. Uh, maybe one, at least one side, like the brightest side. Eh. It, it might be too much. I don't have any water in my brush. Maybe I should just stick with the brown on the leaves and keep the flowers the, the white thing. Um, all right, get ready. Here we go. I'm going to do a little darker in here. Keep losing track of where I want to go. All right. I think I'm going to do... I'm going to switch to a bigger brush. And just go around the inside of the mandala circle. So right here. Oh, I forgot that little guy. Maybe on the outside of 
Let me go with that gold and just while I'm thinking of it, I forgot one little, I think it was him. Um, it's starting to seem like it's um, coming to life. I think I'm going to do up against the mandala circle on the outside as well. So, like right here, I'm just going to chippy chop it in. It's really not dark at all. I'm being, I can't believe how light touch I'm going I'm really being but all right I've I've made you wait long enough I'm gonna get that soft black out and that's where you're going to really be able to see the dragonfly come to life. I think the brown is a little light and the the wood itself has a dark there's darks and lights to it so I feel like the shading isn't showing up as dark as it could. Just need my mop. All right, I'm gonna leave it and then I'm about to go around my dragonfly. So this is soft black. That's not soft black, this is soft black. So the first thing I'm going to do is just in the corners, so I'm going to swivel this over like this. But you can see the difference in the color. It's such a, I love soft black. I'm going to do both sides of the corners. So I just did the left, my left side. And then I'm going to come back and do the right sides. But I just want that to dry. And now I'm nervous because I don't want to be too heavy. But I'm going to go around the dragonfly. So I'm going to stick it up against his body. In between the wings. It would be very dark in there. I'm going to just keep See, I'm going right over the whole flower, the, the lace edge, everything with this color. So that's why I wanted to do that first because you can still see it underneath, but it's covered in this color as well. So right here around his head. I am very impressed with how light I'm able to be because I am such a heavy hand. and. You can always go back and add more. It's hard to take it away. So it's better to just be gentle and subtle, like keep it subtle at first and then think if you want it darker. I need a little more paint. It would be really dark in there. See my other side is not as dark. I'm going to darken it up over here. 
then I'm going to go around the wing right here. Oh boy, see how I put that color down? Oh, you can always blot. Where was I? Over here. And this is, um, you know, interesting because it's without a pattern. And as a decorative artist, it, me and Debbie Cole were talking and she said, we've actually, decorative painters have taught people how to steal artwork, first of all. Because uh, they sell us their patterns and then we reproduce it. So I'm kind of doing that here with the the coloring book pages but they were free you know I think times have just changed where you can you can really get anything off the internet anymore so um, but also I never knew why I was putting paint where I put it I just did it because they told me to so doing designing for myself I I have to kind of figure out you know where why my highs why my darks and lights are where they are stuff like that you know and it involves thinking but that is looking pretty good I'm gonna go around his tail and now you see why I had to go I had to do all the leaves and flowers first because if I darken around it anyway I think that looks pretty good I am gonna shade the body but I'm not sure. I want to shade the wings, so I'm going to shade with brown first. It probably would look better with black, but I'm going to do brown first. And I'm going to go up against the body. And I'm going to go up against the body. I don't want it too dark because it would be, it's tucked into the body. Maybe it's underneath, it's connected. And hmm. I took that. Um, I feel like I'm good. Uh, I might darken up some leaves and stuff. Um, and I'm going to go around and finish doing this whole uh, white part. And I'll be back when it's all done to show you the finished product. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. It's all done. I varnished it with the satin varnish. I absolutely love it. Anyway, um, I put the white dots in here. Um, even though I did put white on the um, diamonds too. I could have gone gold, but I just love the way the white pops. I put the white dots in the flower centers around that. And just here and there on the outside, in the outside, because I put a sun on the back. Um, I didn't really put any weight on the back. Uh, yeah, and then I floated that soft black on the top and bottom of the sides here, like here and here, and here and here. I put the brown on both sides of that. So it, it left some raw wood color, which I really like. And then this is the top. So in this, at this angle, I'm going to tip it a little. All right, so here's where you see a little bit more. I did end up highlighting the wings as well with just the regular white. Like, actually, no, it was gloss. But you can still see that fluorescent or um, pearlescent wing when I move it like that. And I didn't really do, I'm going to come in closer, I didn't even really do much to the body besides shade it. So I shaded gently in 
these areas like see how I left the heart a little bit whiter um, gold 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 all these areas I painted gold but then I just shaded gently uh, I put little gold eyelids and I put a little eyeball I can't resist I guess it would have been a little better without the eyeball but I like the eyeball um, and then again with the flowers I did the same thing with the dots all the gold petals uh, little flower uh, leaves I should say and then just the soft black in the corners and then right around and I actually just did a second coat on around him because I thought it just needed it and the varnished over that I love it so much you guys I wish you could see it in person and now I'm gonna go away and the next video I'm gonna create this uh, lining that I did in my other box <clears throat> so let's put them side by side quite a bit different they're different they're just different and this one I did only um, you know it's different but this one was nice because I got to trace a pattern and I think I could do it again yeah I think I will do it again because it's so amazing when I add that color even this one but anyway I'm gonna add I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna just show you how I add this uh, what is this called felt sorry <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna add felt in the next video. But that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching.